Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to implement button navigation packages in Flutter. The first package we will use is Animated Notch Button Bar SDK. We can use this SDK in Android and iOS platforms. The first thing we need to do is to install the package into PostPack file. We can do this by using the command flutter pop add following by the package name. Now let's define an enum to represent our navigation items. Home, icon, favorite and settings. Now we need a function named option to configure each navigation item for use with animated notch button bar package. With this function we will set enough the properties in active item, active item and the label. The inactive and active item is a widget component. Next, we will define the icon data function to specify the icon for each and every item. The color function will define the color of the icons. Finally, the title function to specify the labels of the knife item. This is all we need to set off our nav items. Next, let's create four pages corresponding to our navigation items. Each page will have a unique background color and setter and text label. With our page defined, let's move on to implementing the navigation functionality. First, let's create a page view into our body to be able to switch between our page. Now, let's add animated notch button bar into button navigation bar and define the controller for the navigation bar and initialize it with the index 0. Initialize the onTab callback function that returns the index of the nav item preset. We will use this later. In the bottom bar items field, let's map our nav items using the option function previously created. Define the icon size and the bottom radius. This setup completes the initial navigation configuration. Now we can extend the body to the bottom of the screen. Use color to change the background color of the button nav bar. Notch color to change the background of the nav item selected. Show shadow toggles the visibility of shadow. To change the animation duration, we can use the param duration in milliseconds. Show labels toggles the visibility of labels. Now let's synchronize the page view with button nav bar. When I click on a nav item, the page selected is not updated. To fix this, let's create a page controller. Add the controller to the page view. Now we can update the page view based on the returned index from the untap callback function. Finally, to update the nav item selected based on swapping, we need to update the notch button bar controller with the page index. Now let's implement Salomon button bar SDK. We can use this SDK in Android and iOS platforms. First, let's install the package into PostPack file. Now we can create an enum to represent our navigation items. Home, likes, search, and profile. Let's create a function named build icon to configure each navigation item for use with Salomon button bar package. With this function, we will set enough the properties icon, title, and selected color. Next, we will define the icon function to specify the icon for each navigation item. The title function to specify the labels of the nav item. The selected color functions will define the colors of the icons. This is all we need to set up our navigation items. To make simple this example, I will change only the background color based on the nav item selected.
First, let's create a Salomon button bar. Then map the nav items into items field using the function build icon previously created. Then add the current index selected. Finally, let's synchronize the body with button nav bar. When I click on a navigation item, the page color and the nav item are not updated. To fix this, we need to update the current index on the tab callback function. This is all for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to get the next video. Bye!